Dandavat pranams to all of you. I have been so happy to hear Bhakti Prapantirta Goswami Maharaj's talk about Srila Prabhupada and also seen the incredible festival which is being held in Jagannath Puri by our Bhakti Sundar uh, Sanyasi Maharaj and all the assembled Vaishnavas that my heart is throbbing. Oh Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, you have blessed us with the mercy of your sons and daughters. And now the mercy of your grandsons and granddaughters. So like we have the association of Srila Gopananda Bon Maharaj here today, who was giving us his beautiful Harikata as well. So what can I say? a simple soul who has simply been captured by my Guru Pad Padma, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. He has come and he has shown us Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Some people may not be fully aware of this, but Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, he gave all the glory of his life and his service exclusively to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. He never claimed anything of his own, even though he is so much empowered by the mercy of his Guru Deva and Guru Varga and Nitai and Gore. Unbelievably beautiful. But his declaration of totalitarian war against Maya, it is so amazing and so enlivening. Yes, because the daily life in Krishna consciousness is a war against Maya. And if you're not against Maya, then Maya will subdue yourself. So uh, then the second sentence also Srila Tirtamarj said that Srila Prabhupada wanted to make a temple in everyone's heart. Yes, that is Godiamat. That is Krishna consciousness. This is the vision of love to make a temple in everyone's heart. I can only pray at the lotus feet of all the Vaishnavas, please allow me to become a Vaishnava one day so that I can also fully understand and appreciate the mercy of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. Actually, when we read about the life of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. When we read the life of his, we see that also he was the chosen personality by Lord Krishna, the chosen personality to establish the Godiamat mission. And our family, the Godiamat, is growing and growing and growing. It is uh, expanding. Despite of my own shortcomings, he, it is expanding because the love of Prabhupada is with us. He is, I think he loves his grandchildren even more than his own children. So, and his great grandchildren, he's loving even more so that anybody continues today in the mission of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada is such a great news and such an enlivening thing, especially today where the world is just submerged in the big institutional cheating and misguiding humanity into total dependence on material things like 
vaccinations or or anything else like that, not taking shelter of Krishna exclusively. In that time, at this time today, we need the shelter and the light and the of the Bhagavata. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada is the perfect Bhagavata personality all through and through. He has made the Bhagavata become alive before our eyes. Of course, if you ask Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur about himself, he will only point to two great personalities, Srila Gorki Shodas Babaji Maharaj and Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Those two personalities who marked or who, who put their imprint on the soul of Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, they were really the revolutionary forefathers of the Godiamat revolution. And then the Godiamat really, like Tirtamaj was saying, all the Acharyas came to help Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And with that help, he started such a vigorous preaching, which had no limits. I want to remind us of one Leela, where Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Maharaj was sitting in the room with Prabhupada, and they were talking about the spreading of Krishna consciousness. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, I want to make use hostels in the Western world where there's a temple in the use hostel and where the kids who are coming for study, they will also come to the temple and see in the morning the darshan and listen to some harikata. And then one, de one devotee, he said, but Prabhupada, Use hostel for young students. These students, they are not vegetarians. How will this work? How could we have a, a use hostel for non vegetarian students? Then Srila Prabhupada was a little annoyed about the objection put towards his idea of spreading Krishna consciousness. And he said, Well, for those who are not vegetarian, then we will have to bring some food from outside for them, but they can stay and have association with devotees. At that time, Srila Sridhar Maharaj, who was sitting in the audience, he said, well, Brahma, I don't know. I don't think we can do it that way. But anyhow, it just shows the urge in Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, the urge to spread Krishna consciousness by hook or by crook, any way possible to bring Krishna consciousness, Sadhu Sangha, in the association of the commoners in this world. And we, at least myself and the devotees outside of India, we are 100% the beneficiaries of this generosity of going out and spreading and preaching unconditional to all the Jagayan Madais in the world. Well, Jagai Madai special souls, we are not even falling into that category, but at least fallen souls we are. And the fallen souls who are here at the feet of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur are today the pride. They're the pride of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's movement. Because if his movement would have only attracted cultured Bengali Brahmins or something, that would not have been so glorious, but that he could attract with his mission, the downtrodden, forlorn, the difficult people, the uh, from the Mletcha background, that he could attract them and invite them to participate in the propagation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's universal love principle. Well, that is really outstanding. And because of that, 
we get the grace. We get the grace of all the great souls. And Srila Bhakti Rakakshina Maj was the second in line of giving mercy to the world. Then the third one in line was Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maj, who again gave lots of love to the whole world. Then the next one in line was Srila Bhakti Balaptirta Goswami Maharaj. Then another one next in line was Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And now next in line of giving this love to the world is Gopananda Bon Maharaj and Bhakti Prabhantirta Maharaj and Bhakti Vichar Vishnu Maharaj and Bhakti Vibhuda Bodhain Maharaj. All these great, great souls. I mean, there's many more. I'm just mentioning a few names which come to my mind immediately. The two Vishnu Maharajas and all their efforts for humanity. That is the living movement of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. The historical movement is one thing, Godiamat, but the living movement of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, that living movement is here with us in the form of all of you, all of the people who are in Puri at this festival, all of those who have. Uh, a feeling of appreciation, of gratefulness towards our Parama Guru Dev, towards our beloved Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. And it is our duty as much as we can to continue to spread that mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Guru Varga to keep spreading it to every nook and corner of the world possible. And in this way, I will conclude my words today at the feet of Gopananda Bon Maharaj, Bhakti Prabhantirta Maharaj, and all of you, Gaudiya Vaishnavas, Vancha Kalpa, Tarubyas Cha, Kripa Sindhu Bhaiva Cha, Patitanam Bhavani Vyo, Vaishnavi Vyo, Namo Namaha, Gold of Lemonati. 150 years of Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ki Jai. 150 year festival of Mahotsav of Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ki Jai. Three years, three years celebration of the glories of 150 years of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada Ki Jai. All glories to the organizers of this great event. All glories to the uh, communication of all the devotees, Vasa Bihari Prabhu and uh, Bhakti Sunda Govinda Maharaj there in Mayapur, Bhakti Vichavish Maharaj, Dhanavad Pranams, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.